Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Gemini Collective with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Gemini, this reading is going to be about what the person that you're coming to this reading for, what they want to say to you, okay? So let's see what your person wants to say to you, Gemini. All right, so people who want to hear from this person or at least wants to know their perspective should stay. People who don't want to know should X off right now. I mean, come on. All right, so let's see. What does this person want to say to you? Okay, the King of Swords. They want to say that... um. They could be seeing the truth of the matter now. They they get it. There's some clarity happening. You could be dealing with the Capricorn, uh, the Tower. All of a sudden, you know, they're, they're having some emotions. There's some event happening. Some event has already happened in this connection here. Could be dealing with a Scorpio too. Somebody is saying that they see clearly now, okay? They understand. They're, they're being very calculated in terms of uh, w what happened. Something about taking responsibility for what happened. It looks like some, something I found out, something that was secret, something that was hidden. Let's see. What does this person want to say to Gemini? Uh, Ace of Wands in the reverse. None of my cards should be reversed. Um, this person could be saying to you they don't want to put any energy, effort, or time behind um, starting up again, starting anew. They could also feel like there will be lack of progression. Like they'll start, but there, nothing will progress or nothing will move forward in this connection. Or maybe they felt like they weren't putting enough time, energy into the connection. Therefore, there was no progress. What does this person want to say to Gemini? Um, why are my cards reversed? Okay. Did I make a mistake here? Because none of my cards should be reversed. Okay, so this person could be saying Eight of Pentacles. Somebody, somebody does not want to work on something. Okay, this is not a coinky dink. None of my cards should be reversed, but these two are. Somebody is saying, look, I put too much time, energy, effort. I was too invested in something. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to give something another try. It's just a cycle. We're always going to be in this cycle. This cycle has historical reference, meaning it has happened before. We didn't deal with it. And then the cycle came back as the tower because we didn't deal with the issue, the problems beforehand. Well, last time. Uh, let's see. What is What does this person want to say? You yeah, have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, this person is saying, look, um, maybe they were devoted, dedicated. Uh, they were here for you. Um, they were. This person is saying that they were stuck on you. They were they were really committed to this relationship. What is this person saying to Gemini? They, they're saying that they were committed with very little reward or the reward was taking so long um, the turnaround was taking so long. This person, yeah, this person is saying, like, I don't trust you. There's a, I need to hold back. I need to hold myself back. I cannot uh, offer a level of vulnerability with you because once again, there is lack of trust. There's too much mystery surrounding you, other people, your money, what you're doing, um, maybe even your sex life who you're intimate with, who you tell your secrets to. I don't feel comfortable being vulnerable with you. This is what your person is saying to you. Or maybe this is what they're saying that they did to you. Maybe they made you feel isolated to the point where you needed to go look elsewhere. What is the uh, advice for Gemini? What's the advice for Gemini? Advice for Gemini. Nine of Wands. Okay, um, you need to really... So this is persevere through you know see it through it says don't give up before the miracle actually happens here with the nine of wands but it also says that you're in a place of really asking yourself like do i, do I put more energy effort time into this or do i let it go some of you are so stuck in the past that you can't get over you know what is going on presently you you, you keep rel reliving something or you're stuck there um therefore there is no future you're so far in the past 
that you, you definitely can't rest in the present. Therefore, there is no future. Um, this is um, what you need to realize where you are uh, with the nine of wands. It says you're on a fence about something. Something is turning over, though. It, it's something, you know, good is going to happen. Let's see. Let's see. Something about children, too. Somebody doesn't know if they want to continue to pay for, watch children, take care of. What is the advice for Gemini? Two of Swords. Um, it's best to leave this decision alone. Don't make a decision. Come back to it. Weigh the pros and the cons. Make sure that when you come back to the table, you come back to the table ready, ready to negotiate. There is a power struggle here between you and someone else because there is lack of compromise. Um, there's lack of um, cooperation. You know, both parties want to go in two different directions. So you got to get on the same page here. It says that if you come back together and you don't have a plan, a course of action to take, then you'll be right back at that tower with the two of swords here. Don't bury your head in the sand, uh, Gemini. I do know that a talk must be had, okay? But right now, leave it alone and come back to it. Um, all right, let's see what else for Gemini the seven of swords okay uh, this is the advice maybe there's some been some deception there's been someone holding back not being honest could be you could be the other person someone masquerading like this is it but it's really something else underlining um with the seven of swords it says that um make sure that somebody's not going to leave you holding the bag that you're not going to be the scapegoat that you're not going to be you know um that somebody doesn't have solo plans, you know, that the plans actually um, include you and them. Talk it over. Stop the gossiping or stop listening to the gossip. Stop being a part of the gossip. Um, let's see, what else is the advice for Gemini? Stop listening to negative talk. Also, Queen of Pentacles. Be concerned about yourself, your health, your children, your home. Um, making more money, different streams of income coming into the home. Also, be concerned about just that. Um, earth magic, too. Okay. All right. So, somebody is practicing some magic here. All right. And last, what is the advice for Gemini? The hermit car. You need to really take some time to seclude yourself. Be the recluse so that you can think about, so you can have this shift in personality. Don't let anything outside of you shape your personality or your mental. Do your own homework, your own research. Come to your own conclusion is what I'm getting. Okay? So let's get a mystery card for... Gemini. So the mystery card is going to be exactly that, a mystery. Um, I'm not going to read the card. I'm not going to decode it for you. I want you to get down in the comment section and let me know what this card means for you for this reading, if it resonates for you, okay? Um, tell me how this card uh, resonates in your life, all right? Let's see. If I need to give you a clue, I will. Let's see. Family. Okay, so that's an easy one. So let me know how this resonates for you. How does family uh, resonate for you? Let me know down in the comment section. Um, you, you're the tarot card reader or you're the oracle reader today. What does this card mean for this reading? All right. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Um, keep in mind that uh, all links to reach me if you want to get your own personal reading is in the, in the description box. Also, I am live every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday night. 9 30 p.m eastern standard time also i have an amazon wish list if you wish to purchase something for the uh channel also catch me on keen.com yep keen.com k-e-e-n.com uh on keen you could chat with me for 10 minutes for one dollar 99 cent yep one dollar 99 cent 10 minutes uh the link is below try keen all right thank you guys many blessings to you take care